today I'm going to Disney for the first time in four years. I'm going to be going to Magic Kingdom and I have a bus to catch in a few minutes, so let's head out. I'm at the bus stop and it is 45 out. I'm so cold. I'm just sitting here waiting. I still have like 15 minutes until it comes, but my mom wanted to walk me down and she's got some work stuff to do, so... Yeah, I can see my breath, but I'll do a little fit check. I'm wearing a low-key shirt from Hot Topic and some bike shorts, bike shorts. And then I have a water bottle too to carry um, two masks, one for just outside and both for inside. And then this fanny pack thing. So hopefully the bus comes early. Wouldn't that be nice? Also, I forgot to say I got Genie Plus for today because I'm only going for one day. I have not used it yet. Um, I don't really know how it works. I don't remember how Disney works, to be honest. I've been to Universal so many times since the last time I went to Disney, so it's kind of clouded my memory. So I don't remember how Disney works. I will have to figure that out. But this morning I got a 10.30 to 11.30 time to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So that should be fun. That's one of my favorites that I remember. Yeah, we'll see. I think the plan is just to head on in and try to get on either um, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which I've never been on, or Space Mountain, which I've never been on as well, because last time I went, I was too young or whatever. I didn't like roller coasters. Let's pray for the bus to come. I made it in to Magic Kingdom. I think I'm gonna head over to Space Mountain first. So I rode the monorail, it was pretty fun. Let's head to Space Mountain. So I was planning on going over to Space Mountain, but instead I just walked straight to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and walked straight on that. Then I went over to Pirates of the Caribbean, walked straight onto that, so. I'm going over to the Haunted Mansion. I think this is the right way, honestly, I don't even remember. I'll make it there. But yeah, it was super fun. Those are two of my favorite rides, so I'm glad I got to go on them already. I'm gonna check my map. So I got on Haunted Mansion. It was about like a 35 or 40 minute wait, so it wasn't so bad. But it did stop twice while I was riding it, so that was a little annoying, but it's fine. Then I was walking around could not find a bathroom. Of course, you like can't find them when you need them, but I found one. Now I'm sitting, you can see the castle. I'm sitting by um, the Pinocchio Village House and I'm gonna have a snack. I have a granola bar. And then um, in a few hours for lunch, I have a bagel. Hopefully I don't need too much more food than that because I'm not a big fan of lines, especially for food. It's almost time for me to go ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and then I will be able to get my next Genie Plus. Fast pass. Yeah. I'm heading over to do Big Thunder Mountain Railroad with my Lightning Lane Pass, and then we'll see what's available next. I'm not really sure, because I've already been on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, so it'll be fun anyway, though, to go again. I will let you guys know when I'm done with that, and I've picked my next ride. So I just booked um, Ariel and I'm gonna go wait for, it's a small world because I think it's just 30 minutes. And then um, Ariel starts in, I think that's in 40 minutes, so 
should be good. Um, I'm liking Genie Plus so far, but I haven't been able to get any rides that I wouldn't just be able to wait for, so yeah, I'm gonna hop in line now. I majorly need a break. I just waited in line 80 minutes to go on Space Mountain. It was a little over 80 minutes. I'd never been on it before so I didn't know like what to expect and how long the line was once you got inside. It said 45 minutes which was a complete lie. I almost waited to double that so that's fun. But I'm gonna eat the other half of my bagel and just hang out. My next thing is I think I have a Genie Plus reservation run three-ish at Pirates of the Caribbean again, even though I already went on it this morning. It seems like the only rides that have reservations that I want to do, I've already done. That's basically an update. Um, I think I'm probably just going to wander around for a bit, just see if there are any other rides that I can do without GD Plus, mm, without an 80 minute wait. I got myself a vanilla soft serve to, I don't know, refuel, have a break. Here it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I'm doing this for now. So after that, I was still pretty mad and there was not much I could do without waiting in a massive line. So I went to Swiss Family Robinson. Then I saw Jack Sparrow on the stage, which is honestly the highlight of my day. And then I went on to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride with my last Genie Plus. And then I left because I just did not have a great day. I so badly want to be one of the people that absolutely loves Disney, but I have just had so many bad experiences at Disney that I just can't be one of those people. And I honestly don't know when the next time I go to Magic Kingdom will be. I think it'll be a long time because I just did not have a fun time at all. I basically spent around $200 to just not get very much enjoyment out of it. I thought Genie Plus was a waste of money because none of the rides I wanted to go on were available even when I was getting on right when passes were released. It just did not seem like a very value-packed day, but I did get a couple souvenirs. I got a glow-in-the-dark Space Mountain pin because I wanted to commemorate me surviving the 85-minute wait for Space Mountain, and I also got my mom a mug because we have another Disney mug, and I thought it'd be cute to match. 